Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, and I'm back with another video. So look, this is my man's Woody. What up, though, YouTube? And right now, we about to react to a couple of videos. We was just chilling here, you know what I'm saying? It was like, fuck it, let's react to some videos. So this video right here, I saw it already. Now, the only reason I'm reacting to it is because we was just talking about this, me and him. And I was like, did you see the video? He said, nah. So I'm about to just show it to him, see his reaction. And then after this, we're going to react to Nipsey's homie responding to 6 9 pulling up to his hood. Because I saw it. I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, let's check it out. <laughs> yeah man yeah yeah bro like he he a clown for that man like you know what i'm saying i think he just be trying to get clout off of what everything he do you know what i'm saying everything he do he just be trying to get clout off and some shit don't even be funny you know what i'm saying i don't think nipsey respects snitches bro me personally. Okay, I so so I from, before I just want to know this: before Nipsey died, did they even know each other anyway? No way. I never heard no songs. I never seen no interviews. I never seen nothing about no posts about Nipsey talking to him or him talking to Nipsey. I just think it's for the clout, for real. You know him; he the troll king. So. Yeah, but that is because right now, you know, bro. I haven't seen, I haven't checked Twitter, see if people are talking about this. But I know I saw the video on YouTube, so which means. A lot of people are talking about this, and yeah, we know yeah. this is one of those moves. Because he did. I was surprised. like, damn, 6 9 in L.A., bro? For real. And the, But that's the thing. This they, nigga traveling. He going to other cities, see, what too. they don't tell you about is he had a police around him, too. I know. I see he had, he hella, had a police yeah, he had around him. He ain't going to go nowhere just by himself. He going to mm -hmm. do all that shit around the police. He just trolling, man. That's all he do. <sighs> he interesting, though. <laughs> He got fans out there yeah, too. He, too. he got a, a, a wild a, yeah, fan base, bro. A weird, wild ass fan base. He do. Trying to swag, I mean, sag, and you know what I'm saying, do his whole little thing. And he do too much, man. He just be a regular artist, right? Bro. Just make just make your money. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video, bro. Yeah, man, he a clown, man, for real. Yo, I don't know what 6ix9ine is on, but. I'm going to just say this, all right? Look, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't even be going to other cities, trying to pull these stunts to do this. You're setting yourself up. You're but. disrespecting people. You know, just like the video, like I said, yo, by the way, we about to react. The reason we're reacting to this video is because we saw a video of uh, Nipsey's homie responding to this. So we were talking about this, and we're like, yo, let's react to the first video. So we about to react to that second video. Now, he knows shit like that is, is going to happen. So why you... You just came out of jail, bro. It's for the clout, man. It's, it's, it, he man, is it's still think, trolling. <laughs> yo, tweaking. I think, I think he the king at giving people, you know what I'm saying, controversy. You know what I'm saying? He want people to see... It's more so than his music, man. Like, what, besides his music, because I ain't even... I really don't like him, but I give him his respect on his music oh, because he had had hits, number one hits... He do his thing music wise, you know what I'm saying? You can't take that you from him. Yeah, yeah, you can. He, I be trying to tell niggas the same thing. And he bro, collaborate like, with big artists too, but what he did, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know what he did. You know what I'm saying? That's not we ain't gotta talk about that, but I don't think a lot of people can sit right with what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it's just a certain code and certain things you gotta follow, man. And I don't think he he stood his ground. You know That's what I'm facts. Because in his facts. music 
he was portraying this and wanted to be this and saying that, but when it all when came down, down to the boiling point, point, he he, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He froze up. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like that's he just he just be in his own world, man. But, but see, th- this the thing though. Th- now you got to look at it like with the rap world and the streets and all this because this thing it's not just like the streets because he got clout from being a rapper you know what i'm saying right 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 so are we just is it a thing like rappers could just do what they want now and what it is like or is it uh it is like that because this nigga, like it is like it, it you right you i'm glad you asked because that question. The, yeah. it's like that because it's not really no structure you know but it's not. But wouldn't like, you think it's because mainly in most gangs and shit, right? They try not to get social media involved in that. Mm-hmm. But this one, he's in a gang. Plus, he's got fans involved in that shit. He right. wants to be out there. That plays an effect to right. it. That's what I think it is. And that's what was too. led to his demise, mm-hmm. really, because you know you was just a regular artist. You coming out as rainbow hair. Everybody didn't even take you serious in the streets. For real, anyways, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But everybody knew you was a young kid rapping. You know what I'm saying? You had good records. You had people buying your records, listening to your records. Everybody just kept it cool until your situation. But before, even with the trolling, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of trollers out here. It's not 6 9 they don't yeah, troll. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I feel like he at the top of the list with it. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm, he undefeated with it. And he just... Yeah, he, he just... Yeah. With his situation, man, he got a lot of problems, man. And I know he got a strong fan base, but, you know, yeah, man. But big ups to him, though. I pray that he have a good career, though. You know? I, I mean, always, listen, I always listen. Bad, I always listen, bad on him as an look, artist. Look, here's the thing, bro. I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to keep it 150. Even you niggas watching my videos mostly, if you sub to my channel, you know this. 6 ix 9 dropped music. He dropped a song. If I fuck with it, I will tell you the truth. It's a good song. If it's a bad song, I will let you know. I don't... On this channel, we react in the music. When we review on the song, we want to give an honest opinion of the song. Fact. All right? Fact. So if it's a good song, I'll let you know. It's a dope song. If it's trash, God, get that gotta, shit out of here. It's trash. Tell, you got to tell them. You know you what I'm saying? To. But that side of the shit, man, the, the streets, man, he fucked over hella people, bro. He did. He the was, only, the worst part too is just the, the, to me, what I feel like the whole case. The worst part is he told he, what's his name? He paid him twenty grand to shoot Chief uh, Keith. What was his name? Kuda. Yeah, yeah cool. And he only paid him ten grand because he missed. And it's like, damn, nigga, you snitched on him too. Him too. And you the one who planned it, bro. That's what I don't understand. Where where do they do that shit at, man? You put in your raps, you put on your Instagram videos, you went at other rappers and I, even OG rappers, you know what I'm saying? Legendary rappers saying you was such this street cat. You was on the Breakfast Club arguing with Charlemagne, talking about how you this and how you that. But when it comes down to you being in a real situation and you a grown man, you didn't handle your situation. Any man, grown, it's not like he was 13, 14, bro. He's, he was like 20, you was 18, 19. You grown, grown with a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. You a grown man yeah, with a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? a lot of saying? money too, yeah. You should have just... And then you, hey. you know what I'm saying? You never trust a man who take the easiest way out of the situation. And I felt like he was a grown man that took the easiest way out of his situation. That's why everybody took the fall behind him. You know what I'm saying? All the people who was his muscle behind him that kept him going, kept his street cred going, kept him saying, oh, he that in the streets. He got all, he turned on them, snitched on them and got them locked up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I me personally, I can't respect him on that. But... As far as him having a music career and him doing, he got younger fans than me. You know what I'm saying? He have a lot of kids. But I feel like music. now he should be trying to change that image and try. I feel like he should have came he, out on some positive exactly. shit, dropped a song with like, like instead uh, he's gonna turn it artist. into a troll. Like yeah, I'm yeah. a snitch and I'm gonna get back out here and do what I've been doing. And who gonna but do I something feel about like, it? But at the same time, that's see that's why I was telling people and I said this last time, bro. right? You cannot win against six nine on the internet. Nope. He's a troll guy. He's the troll king. Nothing bro. in the world yeah, <laughs> right now. That's bro. facts. Nobody that can win. Facts. Nobody in the world can win against that's six nine facts, on the internet. Man. He knows. I'm sorry, y'all probably think I'm exaggerating. <laughs> no say in the world. No, no, nobody, no, nobody. <laughs> you can't win against him on the internet. You can't in the streets, whatever. Of course, the, the, he got locked up. Yeah. All you. Cases, all that you can, but yeah. on the internet, bro, come on now. Yeah, man, it was funny, <clears throat> man. He had 
um, before you end this, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it because it's got millions of views. I think now, but DJ Vlad had an interview with his baby moms. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure her name. You know what I'm saying? But I know. You know what I'm saying? The I, one, I know he's talking about. I know he's right. Talking about. The one he just and, had a daughter with before he got locked up. And f- she brought out the paperwork and shit. It was just like to me, like. <sighs> You know, did you you read about that? I read, but see, for me, I was keeping up with the paperwork because my folks were posting Domo's live. He was posting videos about. I was keeping up with the court cases right. and all. I'm just saying, like, this shit is wild, bro. Wild this as is- hell, bro. Wild as hell. But hey, he he got what he asked for. He wanted that life, and he got it, man. Hey, it's what it is, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So look, y'all, <laughs> this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm about to react to Nipsey's homie responding to 6 9 pulling up to the hood, all right? It's going to be the, the first link in the description. Go click that. Go watch it. And I'm going to put the link to bro social media in the comment section, like your Instagram or some shit yeah, yeah. in the description. Go check him out. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. It's your boy, Bay Chico. Drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, fam. Peace.